911? He's not gonna tell you. Yeah, drop it off. I'm gonna call 911 on Troy. Wow. He, he literally told me to back it off. Oh dear. Bitch, but is on a move today. Before I begin, I have something really special to me that I want to share with you guys. As you guys know, a week and a half, I lost my camera from a theft. Uh, somebody smashed a window of my Huracan and stole my $5,500 camera. But what was really more important was the SD card that was in that camera that I just lost so many memories on. It was 128 gigabyte. It was almost full. I had so much footage and photos in there, just filled with memories. Um, I was so like heartbroken for that. I put out an Instagram post saying, hey, if you are um, the thief who stole my card, who stole my camera, and you are seeing this, keep the camera. You can sell it on eBay, whatever. I don't really care. But at least mail me the SD card. I put my address out there. And I said, if you are reading this and you have my SD card, please at least mail it to me. A week and a half later, I got something in the mail. It was an SD card. And I got so happy but it wasn't the SD card I was looking for, but here's why this made me even happier. Um, letter from Ivan Martinez. Opened it up, a little postcard of my car. Flip it over, here's what the letter says. Hey Choi, I'm sorry to hear about your SD card and camera loss. I was looking forward to the coming videos, but sometimes in life, we just have to move forward in life. Thanks for putting out these videos for DDE. As they brighten thousands of people's day, I've attached an SD card. There's an SD card taped onto this letter. What footage of your races from Omega Motorsports No Fly Zone that you can use for whatever you want or just for personal keeping? Have a great day, DDE fam. I was at Omega Motorsports, which is a half mile race event, and uh, part of that footage is also lost. Ivan was at Omega Motorsports. He got some clips of me um, racing and he sent them to me in a mail and his SD card. He sent them all to me. That was like one of the most heartwarming things that really gets me going. I mean, yeah, there are setbacks in life, but things like this and the support that you guys give me, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. This is, this is awesome. Thank you guys so much. One of the best parts about building a car is just getting all these car parts in the mail. Um, and this is one of the things I was most excited about. I'm sorry, I went and unboxed it already because I was a little too excited. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my new Skull SK4 wheels for the M2 drift build. Skull is a uh, wheel brand made by Brixton Forge. As you guys know, on my Huracan, I have Brixton's on there. Damon used to have Brixton's on his Huracan, but he moved on to Skull. Skull is a brand created by Brixton, inspired off like really like classic cars like back in the 60s. Like throwbacks to the old thing, but in a modern way. Yeah. And definitely modern construction and all of that versus the general jankiness of the old ways. Absolutely precision built. That is a good sign. Oh. Boom. How crazy do these wheels look? And <laughs> the tires look so fat on these things. I did keep my um original tire wall size because after all this is not a show car this has to be a performance car i'm going for more performance rather than looks right now all right we got the two rears done oh it looks so good mark you're doing well pat on the back means the world from you bud <laughs> Okay, we got the wheels loaded up. We are going to head over to Studio RSR. Guys, I am genuinely worried I might not be able to finish my car for the LA Auto Show. And this is a problem. Good morning, everyone. Although it is like 4.32 p.m. I left Studio RSR at 7 a.m. So I was super tired. I was hibernating all day. Now I'm back home. It is another day. The car is not at Studio RSR anymore. It's at MFR. 
getting its wing built. How's it going? Taking a little break. Holy moly. <laughs> That's so funny. Top mounted. Oh my god, that's a big diffuser. <laughs> oh boy. So sketchy. 180 NYC, they do custom headlights. That's what they're kind of known for. Um, a couple of my friends have these headlights. Massive shout out to uh, 180 NYC for getting these delivered in time for the LA Auto Show. Whew. These are pretty cool. So. You guys know that I have a uh, 2016 M2, which doesn't come with the LCI. So what 180 NYC did is they took this lens off, blacked out the whole headlight so it looks a lot better. They added the LCI hexagons on here, and then they blacked out some of the other stuff. The, but the really cool part is the bulbs, the actual headlight bulbs, they are still OEM, the OEM bulbs, so you, get, you still get the high beams and the low beams in OEM quality, but now they can switch colors. RGB, so they, they can switch into any colors you want. They can strobe my headlights, which is pretty crazy. Like I could do amber flashing, or if I wanted to do, I could do red and blue flashing, like police lights. So these are pretty crazy. I'm pretty excited to put these on the car, which I'm gonna go do right now. <laughs> no, that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wing. It is literally wider than the car. The wing is wider than the car. I'm gonna end up chopping people's heads off with this wing. <laughs> That's so funny. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Alright, so while they're doing that, I'm gonna install these lights real quick, but the front bumper needs to come off to take the headlights off of this car, which is kind of frustrating. <laughs> so check these lights out, you guys. This is the app controller. That's pretty dope. You get every light, and then, let's see, I can click on pattern, red fade, check this out. You want the red on your CSF? Boom. My blue, my blue pants? Boom. They're blue now. There we go. Somewhat of a police light. I have my M2 finished, but that doesn't matter right now, because Cade from Team 10 just sent this M2 into a guardrail. Yes. Guardrail one, M20. Sucks. What's good, the good part about this though is that Kid's going on a vacation for like two, three weeks. So by the time he comes back from the vacation, his car will be done and fixed. So the headlight looks fine. Bumper definitely needs to be replaced because that's like ripped off and everything's ripped off. That's the quarter panel. That's probably going to be like the most expensive part to fix. This bumper can be repaired. This quarter panel is going to be screwed up. Oh, and his wheel is like literally beyond screwed up bent up it's a little dark so i don't know if you could see but this is the off ramp and he came around this corner a little bit too fast boom into that guardrail and then he limped it slowly over here and now we're just chilling on the side of the road wait waiting for the tow truck i shunted dude this is a full shunt right here in the guardrail like <laughs> proper slider on the guardrail <laughs> the headlight looks fine that's good yeah. this is like a three thousand dollar headlight it might, the tab on the bottom might be broken. That's fixable. That's fixable. Yeah. Bondo. Bondo. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you do a wide body kit on this car, Cade, there's nothing that needs to be fixed. Yeah. You're, you're Except for a tuner like controller. Everything here is going to get cut off. You're just going to cut it right off. It makes sense. It's makes more sense. economical. I'll just show it to you on my car. That whole rear end section is covered. The whole front end section is also covered. There's nothing on this car that needs to be fixed. Come on, wide body kit. Wide body kit. Wide body kit. Wide body kit. You won't. Wide body kit. You won't. Let's try it. Be my guest. Oh. You're giving up already? No, no, not yet. Oh god. I'm almost there. there. <laughs> okay. There you All go. All right, I'm in. Race car. Oh god, how do you do this, bro? You wanna see me do it? You're skinny, you don't count. You wanna, we gotta get Vic to try to get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey Vic, come here, try to get in the seat. No, no. Try it, please. Just at least try, at least, at no, least. No, just, just, just see just how far try. I can get in. See. <laughs> you good, fam? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm good. There we go. Alright, so that's scoops right there. It is a little hard to get out, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, go back in. Come back out. Right, come back out. Go back in. Alright, go back. <laughs> I don't go. know how this is gonna work. Leg up. I gotta like fall out. Oh. Uh. Whoa. Vic got the cushion. We're All good. right, go. No way. Try it. No way. One leg, come on. No way. One leg, come on. Vic, no try it. At least try it. Like one leg. At least try it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Hey, the tow truck's here. Don't worry, little guy. We'll take care of you. So this is my last drive. This is my last drive. Oh, it's it's drivable. She's just driven it home. Oh, this wheel. This wheel's like crabbing. Uh, you know what? Drop it, man. I don't want to kill it. Oh. What? Get out of the car, man. Not, you gotta be kidding me. Bro, should I back it off? Oh, he's not about to tow his car because he's mad. Wow. He, he literally told me to back it off. What? Like, he's not gonna tell it. Full on. Should you go try to talk to him? Whoa. Kay's gonna try to talk to the coach out guy and tell him to tow it, please. He's not lowering the window. Bro. You wanna get a tow. Like, he's not gonna. He's not gonna tow the car. He full on. He full on just said me and is not gonna tow the car for sure not like, dude he said he said get your car off like I'm not towing it this is a first I've dealt with many tow truck drivers this is a first dude I'm, I'm so confused all right right when I back it off he's gonna dip like he's just gonna leave watch I'm scared to even drive this dude whoa Oh wait, hold on, stop, stop, stop. He's coming out. He's coming out. Oh my god, drop it off. I'm gonna call 911 on short. Like I got time for you, little kid. But you know where? Just go home. S bottle or do whatever. I will drive you a hundred thousand dollar car. <laughs> what the f happened? <laughs> you don't wanna know. Uh oh, he stopped. He is dipping. Dude. What the beep? What the beep, beep, beep? Yo, Aris. Yo, Fusi. Fusi, get out of the way. Fusi. Aris, get out of the way. This guy's pissed. This guy's really pissed. What happened? You don't want to do it? The driver just came up to tow my car and then said he wasn't going to tow my car because it was a $100,000 car and left. Because he just left and now my car is still on the side of the road. I crashed car no one will tow it. I don't have an Uber. <laughs> Alright, now get out. Stop. Open the door. <laughs> get out. Stop. Stop. So how do you get out? That's on you. That's on you. That's on you. You gotta figure it out. It's like BMW i8 style. Well, a little bit harder than a BMW i8. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, uh, nice boxers. <laughs> you get the Calvin Kleins? I did. Um, the tow truck you called came and then decided that he didn't want to tow my car and left. So I need to get another tow truck. <laughs> Um, I don't know. He just decided that I was too young to have a nice car and so he wasn't, you know, really feeling towing it, I guess. I don't think drive yeah, close the door, close the door. All right, send it. Oh, wait, 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 w
<laughs> Alex, like, send it, send it, send it. Currently on the phone of the BMW roadside assistance for the record. We want to... This side's straight. <laughs> go. Oh, there you go. It's dragging the wheel right now. Well, 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 yeah, it's like sideways, but go, send it. That's like crabbing. Full send. Oh my god, that guy is being pulled over. What? <laughs> that is too funny. Someone gets pulled over. <laughs> Yo, what's the hurt? I was like, yeah, honestly, I was like, Troy got loudspeakers in his car. Honestly, just what? take me. Just take me. Here we go. Just take me. Okay. Right at this point. <laughs> All right. The second tow truck is here. Finally. Hopefully this guy doesn't kick us out of the tow truck. <sighs> Finally. I never okay. thought I'd be so excited to get it on their truck. <laughs> I'm happy she's she's going to a better place. Hey, I'll give Literally. Mark your number and stuff so he can call you about the car tomorrow. Perfect. Alright bro. See ya. Take it easy. Rodeo. That's a cop, that's a cop, that's a cop, that's a cop. Get out, get out, get out, close the door. And in five, four, three, two. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. You guys are good to build, just stand over here. I don't think you understand how fast I freaking ran to get here. What's up? What's going on? I don't know. You shall see. <laughs> look, 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 I know this car is in the This car is in the stock, dude. I heard you, I was at Rodeo in Dayton, and I heard you at the edge multiple times. It was more than 50 feet. It was, it was this one, dude. I was parked right there in the alley. Rodeo, Dayton alley. I was right there. Okay, well, it wasn't, it wasn't too far from where you were standing. Okay? So I'm gonna give you a warning for that, but just know you can get a citation for that. Right? Oh, look. <laughs> he got a warning. <laughs> no way. He gave you a warning. <laughs> Dude, if that was me, I would have gotten to jail. Get out the street, brother. I don't want you to get hit, man. All right. Yeah, I dare you to walk down and say that this And then what? Then he pulls me over and he's like, oh, you have a, can I get your license and registration? I was like, yeah, here. I gave it to him and he's like, I was like, do you know why I'm getting pulled over? I don't know why. He's like, yeah, you have a loud exact. So I was like, no, I don't. This thing's stuck. He's like, yeah, I was sitting in the alley. I heard you rub the car. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so that was that. And another one. All right, sir, let me just grab your personal information real quick. BHPD is on a move today. Back up incoming for the, the C300. Wow. What? Yeah, your uh, driver's license is suspended, revoked. So you're gonna be given a misdemeanor citation. Oh boy. Hey, didn't I stop you like two weeks ago? 